one, one point, final question. Yeah, sure, even, please, please. Yeah, no hurry. Yeah, I'm, I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, even after several uh, practice, I fumble a lot in between. Uh, sometimes uh, very late, sometimes, but uh, I do fumble after even after yeah. practice. Yeah. So, what's the question? Uh, Give me the statement. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, why do I fumble even after uh, several practice? Three reasons people fumble in in a small way that you do. It's not first of all. It's not. It can be overcome. Okay, with with proper practice, and you need the right mentor for that. The reason number one it happens is because of translation time. What's your mother tongue, Manoj? Odia. Odia? Yeah. 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 So you think in Odia, for example, then quickly you're translating that in English quickly in the mind. But that split second, sometimes what you want to say and what you thought and what you're saying, there is a difference, and that's when the fumbling happens. Fumbling is, but I, I want to make sure it's relevant. Does it happen that you're you're quickly thinking in your language and then quickly translating? Think, think. Does it happen to you or no? No, because so, uh, so you think in English all the time. Yeah, because I do before before any speech, I I write, I, I make a write a speech. No. I'm not talking about speech right now. For example, when I'm talking to you, observe. No, no need to give an answer now. When I'm saying, do you process the information? You're hearing English, but I'm saying, do you think in English in the mind right before you're going to give me an answer? Yeah, I I, I do think in English. I don't think in Korean. Okay. Okay. So one of the three reasons people fumble is number one, they think in in their mother tongue and they have a quick. Time to translate in the mind. That that's one reason for fumbling. The second reason for fumbling is because of a little bit of nervousness. That am I saying the right thing or not? There is a little bit of self-confidence shaking there that can happen for them. And the third is the reason for that is their articulation exercise. They have to speak louder. For example, they have to do some mouth exercises. They have to do some voice exercises so that when they do that, I used to struggle with that thing. You know, sometimes like. I, I I want to do that, but you know those small fumbling I'm talking about, not like big. So you need some some real push of your voice, like speaking not from your throat voice, but there is a throat voice, there is a chest voice, there is a stomach voice, you know, really going out. Something we teach inside Elite, but this can this can be a game changer. So speaking more powerfully, you know, maybe in the morning what you can do is that instead of doing the affirmations, maybe you can play some powerful song, um, something that you like it can be. Uh, a song from I'll give an example from Indian movies. Um, it can be a good song like Delhi Azadi Hai, which is from Mary Home. You know that motivational song, or Chal De India. One so, something that motivates you. It can be anything. Yeah. It cannot be a romantic song. Uh, so some some powerful song you play and you speak to yourself at that time. Whatever comes to you, like it doesn't matter. Words don't matter at that time. Speak it out so that any any emotion, anything that comes out of you, that's how you break through. Most people don't do that. They think, okay, what, what I'm gonna say, and that's why the timidness inside, the internally, that that has to be there. That that has to be healed. You know, Tony Robbins has a saying: when you heal the boy, the boy inside. When the heal the when you heal the boy, the man appears. When you heal the boy inside you, the man appears. Uh, man here, my, I'm you know you. You and I both, man. I'm talking about the heal, the the heal, the inner child inside. The the power appears. So there is a bit of emotional healing that needs uh, for you because you are a very soft-hearted person as a, as an individual. I know that very very loving, kind-hearted person. You have empathy for other people. I can sense that, and that's a very good quality. At the same time, at the same time that that energy is very good, amazing. At the same time, you have to be much more powerful as well in the communication by healing that inner self, by overcoming any self-limiting belief that you have about you or what things have happened in the past. You remember that Anindita's uh, subconscious programming that I that I did. If you see her that time, how she spoke and how serious, and if you see her now, there's a giant difference because of the emotional healing. When when we healed her inner child, the, the, uh, the girl, the woman appeared. Does that make sense to you, Manoj? Yeah, definitely. So, and after that, fumbling will not be an issue. So, if you look for any fumbling tips, how to overcome fumbling, those are band aids, not the transformation. 
transformation transformation is to let out so tomorrow play a good song in the morning and keep walking in your room you don't have to go out keep walking in the room as the song is playing and whatever comes to your mind say that i, I am the king i am the man i am powerful i can speak well i am manoj samal i am the businessman i am the entrepreneur i can speak very well i can whatever comes through you just just let it out doesn't matter you don't have to record it you don't have to share with anybody and that's how the tiger and the lion appears out of you make sense yeah is that helpful to you manoj yeah excellent good thank you thank, thank you